If your farm is deemed a high fluke risk, you're better off opting for an active ingredient like triclobendazole, which will kill fluke that's active in your livers that dry it off. So Chanel's triclobendazole is gonna be Tribex 10%. It's an oral drench, so get yourself one of these. You're best administering about 10 days post housing, and it's got a 41 day plus 84 hour milk withdrawal. So we've dealt with fluke with the Tribex. Next on our list is internal worms like lungworm, stomachworm, gutworm, and external parasites. And a simple ivermectin pour on will do all those for you. So Chanel's product is Animec pour on. Just note there's a 60 day milk withdrawal on this. So you should really be giving it right on the point of drying off. So on a low fluke risk farm, it's a bit simpler. We're not having to worry about any active fluke damage in the livers that dry off. And any fluke products we give are gonna be just to clean the animals out of any mature fluke. So the likes of Alvex 10%, really good option on dairy farms because I suppose it's a rotation. You'll have used the Prinomectin, so they're clear wormers during the season. This is a white wormer. It's gonna kill any adult fluke, as well as any important internal worms we worry about. So stomach worm, gut worm, lung worm. It's also gonna kill a tapeworm as well. No issue with milk withdrawal, very short withdrawal. So Albex is an oral drench. Just keep in mind it has no action on external parasites. So you may have to follow up with something else depending on the winter we get. So if we follow the protocol for a low fluke risk farm, it's a good idea to go in again in the weeks before calving time, so maybe two, three weeks prior to calving, and take a fecal egg sample, see if any of the fluke that we may have left behind have matured into adults at that point, or we can go in and retreat with an adult flucicide like some oxyclozenide, ruminant will be an example, so four and a half day milk withdrawal, no known resistance.